Okay, in the previous video, I showed you um, how we can work out particular values of, uh, for, well, for problems involving the binomial distribution. And I've shown you how you can do it on the calculator as well, the CIA 82 stats. So, we can represent a binomial distribution this way. And let's say that we're going to work out a binomial distribution when n is 6, and the probability of success is 0 0.4. So what I want to introduce to you in this video is really looking at cumulative probabilities. So the probability of getting less than 3, for example, or the probability of getting greater than 4. So what we could do is build up a table of values for each probability. So this would be um, 0 successes, 1 success, 2 success, all the way up to 6 possible successes. And each of these will be the probability of each of these occurring. Now you can work these out individually. So for example, if I wanted, um, well let's go with number 4, for example. Okay? So if I wanted the probability of x being equal to 4, I'd be working with n is 6. So I could substitute into this formula, 6 choose 4 times the probability 0.4 to the power of x, which is 4, times by the probability of 1 minus p, so 0 0.6, to the power of 6 minus 4, so squared. So I could plug that into the calculator. 6 choose 4 is 15, times by 0 0.4 to the power of 4, times by 0 0.6 squared. And you get 0 point, I'll write it here as well, 0 0.13824. 0.13824. Now, I'm going to skip ahead and I'm going to work out each of these um, and show you kind of where the next bit's going to be. Okay, so you should now see that all of these values have magically appeared. Okay, I've worked out each one individually. And first of all, let's have a look at them just to see if they really make sense. So we're looking at n is 6, okay, and the probability of success is 0 0.4. So if I had uh, 6 trials and I expected success uh, 0 0.4 of the time, so 40% of the time, I would expect 0 0.4 times 6 to be the average amount that I would get. So 0 0.4 times 6 is 2.4. So I would be expecting the majority and the highest probability to be around 2 and 3. So as you can see, that's about 31% for 2 and 27, 28% for 3. So the majority of the probability is around 2 and 3, as I would expect. And as I go further away, these probabilities decrease to the point where the probability um, of me getting 6 successes... Um, if the probability is 0 0.4, is actually less than half a percent. Okay, so that is expected. Okay, so now let's get on to the cumulative bit. So let's say I wanted um, the probability of getting uh, less than 3. Well, that would mean, in notation form, the probability of x is being of getting x less than three. So I could write it like that. So that would include zero, one, and two, but not three because I want it to be less than three. So I could also write this as the probability of x being less than or equal to two. Okay, so these, in binomial form, are synonymous. They mean the same thing. So it's the probability of x being equal to 0, plus the probability of x being equal to 1, plus the probability of x being equal to 2. So that's my 0.04656 plus 0.186624 plus 0.31104. Add them all together, 
So 0.046656 plus 0.186624 plus 0.31104. Okay, so that's 0.54432. Okay, so that's my probability. So, as you can see, it's quite a long-winded process if we do it this way. So, I would like there to be a nice, much easier way to do it. Um, and that's how we can do it using either, you can use the tables, which are in the formula booklet. Okay. They can work for you on this, um, but I'm going to show you the way now to do it on the TI-82 stats very, very quickly. Okay, um, in this example we've been looking at a binomial distribution with uh, a number of trials, uh, 6, and a probability of 0 0.4. And we want to find the cumulative probability of x being less than 3. And I'm going to show you how to do this on the TI-82 stats very, very quickly. So the first thing is to identify that the probability of x being less than or equal to 3 is the same as the probability of x being less than or equal to 2. That's the first thing to identify here. So because of that, we can then go into our normal... Uh, sorry, turn it back on. There we are into our calculator and we are going to go to the distributions so second and then VARS to bring up the distributions and we're going to want to go down to well here's our binom PDF and we want the binom CDF because that is looking at the cumulative frequencies or cumulative probabilities sorry so binom CDF press enter and we fill it in in exactly the same way as we've used the binom PDF so we put in n first, so 6, then comma, and then the probability, 0 0.4, and then comma, uh, the 2 that we want. Okay, so we want uh, items 0, 1, and 2, so less than or equal to 2, close the bracket, press enter, and there we have our probability, 0 0.54432. So we can do it in one easy go on the calculator.